we have um, a grill with uh, the distinctive Milton logo on it, which it was uh, known as by everybody that played there. And um, this was on, as you came off the street, off Milton Road, and you entered, it was on the left of the entrance, and it was really used um, as a barrier to keep people out of the clubhouse when uh, big tournaments were on, and Davis Cup and such. Uh, keep them out of the bar. Keep them out of the bar. <laughs> <laughs> So here we are, the last of the series this morning, and this topic will get Daphne fired up. And Daphne, don't use the racket on me. And this topic is about Big Bill Edwards, who was the president of Tennis Australia, and also at the time, Tennis of Tennis Queensland. And it's about just the absolute amazing treatment of females and ladies in the era. So Daphne, tell us the story of what happened to you. Well, it was 1956 and I'd reached the semi-final of the Australian Open Lady Singles. Uh, it was played at Milton, Centre Court, and my opponent and I are sitting waiting to go on, waiting for the match to finish and we walk on. When a young person came round and said, the President has said that you are to go outside and play your match on Court 7 or something, and because he, they, they, he wants to watch the men's doubles. And I looked at Mary and I said, Mary was a Mary Carter I was playing, a friend of mine. And she was even smaller than me and I was only seven stone six and five foot three. And I looked and I said, do you want to go outside, Mary? She said, no. I said, well, I don't want to go out either. So I said, well, if we both sit here and say nothing, I can't see how they can make us go outside. Anyhow, so next thing, this guy goes back and tells the president, and the, I see him, he jumps out of his seat, he's across the court on the other, on the other stand, comes right around, and he said, because I'm the Queenslander, and he's the Queenslander, he's the president, he says, Daphne, you will get up and go outside and play on, immediately. And I never answered it, and she never answered. We both looked up and shook our heads. And the press were sitting not far away, and up jumps this... Uh, Pressman and comes over and he says, what's the problem? And of course, now the president has a problem himself because uh, he's forcing the ladies single semi-final to go out the back and play. The other pair had already played their match, so how is that fair to us? So anyway, after all this, he allows us to go on the court. My knees were shaking, I was absolutely unbelievable, but eventually, um, I lost. I lost the first set easily and I had a good fight in the second set, but I lost that. And um, um, you've got to click off. So the next day, the paper comes out. I think it was the Courier Mail. Front page, there's this big cartoon of this big man, who's a huge man, Big Bill Edwards. Um, and uh, there's two, two little caricature of these two little girls with boxing gloves on, punching him in the belly. And I still have that uh, photo. And um, that's the way women were treated in those days. And um, thankfully, it's changed. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It is a great honour this afternoon to be here with uh, Charlie Fancutt at the uh, Fancutt Tennis Centre. Um, Charlie, your family has uh, a unique piece of tennis history that uh, just plays into f the Fru Park history so well. Can you just tell us a little bit about uh, that piece of uh, tennis history? Yes, Peter. As a Queensland family, we're so proud uh, of the fact that all five of us played the main draw at Wimbledon. Uh, we've been told that's a unique achievement and um, certainly a pl great pleasure it was for all of us. Um, Wimbledon was always a dream, as it is for all young players. And I believe it's one of the reasons that that um, history has kept us in the game and loving the sport for all these 50 or so years. Tennis and, and and you still coach, don't you? Yes, I still coach, enjoy it, and uh, love doing it. And I just try and nag the kids hit on the wall more. <laughs> the old wall, good on you. Thanks very much, Charlie. No worries.